There have been good efforts to include all Australians in Anzac Day commemorations, especially young people and the kids of migrants in this country, but this is still the challenge. Indeed, as we approach the centenary of ANZAC, one of the most difficult tasks facing the committee set up by the last government to plan and oversee these commemorations is how to involve the more than 40% of Australians who are either born overseas or are children of immigrants and refugees. Now, I've talked to the chairman of that committee, Air Chief Marshal Ang Angus Houston, my own suggestion is that such inclusiveness is best driven at a local level rather than top down. And every community in Australia needs to play its part using its own ideas. And that's why I'm so delighted with what's gone on in Lismore and the, and the, the remembering and healing old wounds. Uh, it, it, it's an amazing phenomenon. Yeah, look, I support remembering and healing because I think it is a really important grassroots driven initiative. And I think laying those foundations to, to, bridge, um, to bridge differences across, you know, not just across cultures generally, but also um, across, you know, peoples or nations that were once enemies or perhaps still consider themselves enemies in some ways. I think that's really important to bridge that and that needs to happen on multiple levels. I support remembering and healing because it reminds us that at the heart of Anzac is basically our wish for peace, our wish for a comprehensive peaceful existence for all people, for Australia and for the world, um, that nobody is basically suffering because of things like poverty, or lack of education, inequ in inequity, um, or violence, or oppression. Uh, I think they're very conscious that the RSL and the Veteran uh, Affairs Department and the whole ANZAC tradition is something that's very necessary. There's still a lot of people in this world who need to support their, their loved ones. They've had an uncle, father, grandfather who's fought in the war, and they want to support them and ANZAC provides them with a means of showing support you know and uh, that's important why we need to keep that and I think RA um, recognizes that we're not we're not anti the RSL we're not anti ANZAC we're about saying hey we've lost track a little bit here we've lost sight of what it was really about I think it's a good idea what they're doing I don't know about, I don't really understand the remembering, like I haven't been to a ceremony or anything like that, this is like the first I've heard of it, but it's definitely the, um, the healing is a good part of it, everyone needs to, everyone will have their own way to heal. The, the work of remembering and healing is a lot about that, it's about acknowledging that there has been pain, acknowledging there has been uh, unnecessary um, sacrifice in, in many circumstances, and it's saying, Let's acknowledge that, but move on. Let's look for the expression of hope that emerged from that and move on from that. And I think that's a really, that, that ought to be a central message about what we do. I just wanted to support a new initiative uh, taken here in Lismore. And um, it's something that I think is really worthwhile. And the name of the group, Rem Remembering and Healing, I think says a lot. We know at Anzac Day we say lest we forget. So we want to remember so that we learn from the past and don't make the same mistakes again. Learning, and to me, the lessons that kind of Ra focus, focuses on are lessons that are uh, more in line with the kind of values that I hold closely, which are about peace and, and understanding and um, finding, finding nonviolent means to resolve conflict and to resolve inequities and injustices. It really fits it with what I believe in, that um, war is not the answer to anything. I'm very much a believer in, in sorting conflict with words as opposed to weapons. I support remembering and healing. I support what they're doing. I congratulate them on what they're doing. And as long as I'm in the position of mayor, I'll continue to support what RA is doing. I think it's, yeah, it's a clever idea that's finally ha like a 
recognised thing. It's not just single people doing it by themselves or a group of mates going through their own healing processes. It's like a, now it's got this whole yeah, community, which is good. Thank you. 